Baker, any, any thoughts on Donald and him not playing and, and being out for a few weeks? Um, yeah, no, I just saw that right before we headed out to practice. Unfortunate news for, for Sam, you know, hope he gets healthy quickly. Um, I, I've never had that knock on wood, but uh, I know it's not a fun process, not just laying around and not being able to do anything. Um, yeah, no, uh, devastating news to, to hear about Chris, um, you know, going through an accident and then losing his girlfriend. Um, you know, it's, that, that's one of our brothers. And so uh, very unfortunate. Uh, all we can do is support him and, and be there for him. I think Freddie's talked about, a lot of guys have talked about the closeness of this team. Is that what you lean on now in a time like this? Um, absolutely. You know, I think especially what happened last week and then, you know, with events that we've had happen. Um, it's just coming together, realizing that it's just us and, and that's what we need to focus on. Uh, look forward to any competition. Uh, obviously, I said it's unfortunate Sam's not able to play, but, uh, you know, it, it's about us right now, going out there and competing. Uh, you know, obviously, Greg was here, so we're all familiar with him. Um, but it, it presents challenge, challenges. We're, we're sure that, you know, he's got some stuff waiting for us, surprises here and there, and uh, we're, we'll be ready for anything. Everybody we talked to said, you know, Greg loves to bring the blitz. Do you relish that when a coach when a coordinator does that to you? Um, yeah, you know, if we can get on the same page and be able to get the ball out uh, or protect it up and push the ball down the field, it just – I think whenever you're playing a team that blitzes in different things and exotic stuff, you got to be on the same page, and so that's important for us this week. Uh, no, we're playing the Jets. Obviously, you spent more time with Freddie last year, but when the changes were made, what was your relationship with Craig? Um, you know, he was our head coach for for that back half of the season. Um, you know, a few meetings with Greg about you know just defensively what they were thinking, uh, what we needed to do on offense. And uh, I don't know, Greg's just a, he's the same mindset guy every week, so we knew what to expect out of him. Uh, but we know this one means a lot to him. What have you seen uh, in practice so far this week to uh, convince you that it will not be a repeat of, of, of the open? Um, the fact that we go back to work and fix the corrections. Uh, no, it was good to have him out there going full speed. Obviously, uh, we didn't win, so we, we got to make some changes and uh, you know find ways to get the ball downfield and in the end zone. Hey, Baker, going back to Sunday when you said everybody's going to throw you guys in the trash, do you embrace the chance to bounce back on the national stage? Everybody's going to be watching. Do you kind of embrace that pressure to do it on that stage? Um, you know, it, it wouldn't matter the stage, but, yeah, that does make it a little more exciting for our guys knowing that uh, we got a lot of people counting us out. And we're going to take it one game at a time. And on Monday night, what you know, there's no better way to do it. Coming up, coming off the fourth quarter that you had Sunday, just having that Texas, the Houston game last year in your back pocket, the fact that you had a tough start and we were able to bounce back, does it just give you extra confidence knowing that? Um, I think something important for a QB is short memory. So, uh, you know, just putting that behind me, making corrections, knowing that we've we've made changes, and, and I'm going to have my eyes in the right place and do the right things. I know you're looking forward, but that Jets game was such a, a big moment for you and for this franchise last year. When you reflect back on it, what do you remember most about that night? Um, just the energy in our stadium. So uh, I think for us, it'll be it'll be different on the road. Um, but you know, it presents its own challenges of playing on the road. One, it's the first uh, road game we have this year, and then also playing against a familiar face that has been around Freddie and have been around some of the guys in this offense. Hey Baker, last year in the final eight games, you only took five sacks, mm -hmm. and then the over took five sacks. Mm -hmm. When you went back and looked at it, were you holding on to it too long in certain instances, or what, what's kind of your evaluation of what happened? Uh, yeah, definitely holding on to it and get, get, get rid of the ball, uh, but we can we can be better overall as an offense. You know, it, it ultimately comes back on me, uh, and I need to, you know, get everybody on the same page. When you left Sunday night, were you worried about the, the risks at all, and how's it doing now? Looks good. Good to go. Looks good. Baker, uh, C.J. Mosley, we know how he ended the season last year. Mm -hmm. Does he look like he has an even big, bigger role with the Jets than he did with the Ravens? It looks like he had a great game. Um, 
Yeah, it, it's a different role, you know, knowing what Greg does with his defense. Uh, the Mike has a lot of control over what they do and communication wise and getting people lined up. You know, the Ravens last year, they're just completely different. They had a bunch of veterans that lined up and they did so many different things, whereas Greg, it, it, they rely on that linebacker in the middle to, to get everybody lined up. Schematically, do they look, the Jets look like your, the Browns defense did last year? Greg Williams there? Uh, it, it's always a little different just because the personnel is different. You know, I think uh, whenever you have a different team, you, you try and call plays, you know, to their strengths. Did it feel like what did you see when you watched back? I believe it was a play where you could have hit Odell for the touchdown that would have made it 22-20, but a few different things were wrong on that play. What did you see when you watched that one back? I have no idea what you're talking about. First play of the fourth quarter, Freddie referenced it today. It, it was at least a big game. I don't know if the touchdowns. Odell was coming across the field. You rolling to your right. Mm -hmm. Pressure right away. Yeah. The mean just got caught for a while. Oh, okay. Um, is that the one you're talking about? Uh, no, I just. Uh, we got to, you know, eliminate negative plays. Uh, if I'm able to set up and throw that ball, um, you know, I'm not going to take the chance rolling completely right and throwing the ball. Yeah, that would be probably a 50 yard throw in the air. Um, uh, just. Uh, trying to eliminate negative plays, and so that's when we get behind the chains and, you know, you're not helping yourself out. Did it feel like the Titans took away a lot of your first reads and that contributed to maybe some of the sacks you faced? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I'd say just getting the ball out and knowing we got to have answers for what they're doing. Um, you know, it's when we have all of our guys out there, teams are going to play different defensively, so having answers for whatever coverage you're going to bring. When you have a receiver like Odell, do you have to resist the temptation to wait for him? Yeah, there's definitely certain plays where we want to get the ball in his hands and we draw it up to, to do so. But I think, you know, it's very important for me to do my day one reads and trust that, you know, the guys that we have out there. Jamal is obviously a very versatile player, a, a great leader for that team, not just the defense. Uh, he's able to do a lot, big physical safety uh, that can move around too. So uh, he's just a, you know, he's a guy that, that changes the game. So you got to know where he's at. Not have Richard affected you guys in the second half? No. Uh, you know, obviously, we, we'd love to have him in there just because he got a lot of reps at, at what we were doing. But, you know, that's why we say next man up. And we expect Ratley to be able to do the same things uh, and just come right in there with, you know, no, he no hesitation. You were so uh, big on kind of uplifting Greg uh, Robinson last mm -hmm. year. Yep. What kind of yeah. Uh, no, he knows that. You know, uh, he, he knows you know what happened after that, uh, and he can feel that he's going to be hard on himself, and he knows that we're counting on him. So, um, it's kind of one of those things. You know, it, it's better left unsaid, but he knows we're counting on him. He, he knows that we need him out there, and we want him out there. You played a lot of uh, obviously in high school. You played night games, so you, not like you never. Night game. What, what do you like about playing night games? Um, under the lights, different energy. Monday nights, uh, you know, it'll be my first Monday night game, so it'll be fun.